Good morning. Good morning. Today is Melissa's March 7th, my birthday. 30th birthday. It's my 30th Woo! birthday. High five. 30 years young. 30 years young. So today we woke up. Andrew made this really, really awesome video for me with a few friends that were saying some really nice things. And we just are packing up a little bit because we're going to go to Super Fresh Cafe or Super Fresh Organic Cafe. I'm hoping they're open. We're going to give them a call because it's starting to snow outside. I think we're having a snowstorm today, <laughs> which is fine. Our car is totally fine. Uh, we're about two hours away, I think, from home. But anyway, so we're packing up a little bit. And to celebrate my birthday, we're going to open up a durian. <laughs> And I'm not feeling quite so hungry yet, but we're gonna open it up anyway. And we have some Ziploc bags so we can just put it in baggies so that when I do get hungry, I can enjoy some durian. We even went, when we were in Vermont, in Burlington, closer to Burlington, Vermont, we found an Asian market and actually bought them because I forgot the durian that we have in our freezer at home. And now we have extra durian when we go home. Yep, Woo! we bought two at the Asian market. <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's kind of the plan for the day and just where we were thinking about maybe seeing a movie, but I think instead we'd rather do some work on our business. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, but I'm, I'm really motivated. Andrew just finished this course that he was taking yesterday. It was the last class, and it just made me feel really motivated to work on us, our stuff, and ourselves. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll watch a movie, maybe we won't, but we're keeping it pretty open. And the place that we're staying at is really cute, it's cozy, and it was a really wonderful experience staying here. And I really liked it. it and it was great because there's this living room area that we're sitting in right now, which was perfect for our exercise this morning. We already did a HIIT workout, workout by Shauna Virtue. Today is the, three, the third day. Today's the third day in her Virtue Method book. So we did that already, we completed that. We took care of our teeth already, and we pretty much packed up everything that we needed to pack up, so we're just, pretty much ready to go. We're just gonna open up the durian and then we're gonna get out of here. And it was just such a pleasurable experience and super, super nice. And today is my day that I was born. <laughs> well, the day that I was born. It's not really my day, but we can make it my bit day in our world. <laughs> right. So that's, that's the plan for the day. And it's been such a wonderful, relaxing, few days for us <laughs> and it's nice because I don't really get to spend this much time with Andrew because he's working a lot and he's doing this course and this was like the only time I got his undivided attention <laughs> even though he was a little sick yesterday or like not feeling 100% yeah. Yeah. but he's feeling so much better today yeah with yeah. less sleep which is the funniest yeah. thing you yeah. know it was something <laughs> that his body is going through I guess from the fast so. yeah but anyway yeah it's been super great and I'm so grateful and so thankful for this experience and I just wanted to say that that I'm planning to eat the durian and at super fresh organic cafe I might get something I'm not sure I have been releasing from the food that I've been eating but I am having a confliction within myself because I did this fast and I cleaned out so many things I feel so great and so rejuvenated and so comfortable in my body that eating food I'm not saying I'm not eating like crazy amounts of like flavorful things or anything it's very simple and it's been tasting really good but I just feel a little bit concerned in the back of my head like oh no what if I get backed up and all this stuff but I have been going to the bathroom actually but I even did a Kalima board last night because I was feeling a little bit concerned and I had a lot of releases and <laughs> this might be too much information so you might want to turn off right now but there was like a lot of like kale bits because I had so much kale in the past few days. I had it like two days in a row and there was like kale bits that I could see, which is great because that means my digestion is moving more, much more quickly than it's ever, ever have. Because like you're supposed to go about, I think I read in Dr. Jensen's book, A uh, Guide for Better Bowel Care, I think it's supposed to be like eight hours, 68 hours or something that the food's supposed to go through. Um, so basically you, it is ideal to be at least going at least three times a day. That's, I mean, that's what he says in the book. I, I can double check that and maybe put a link down below in the description or just that information for sure from his book, the excerpt from his book. But yeah, so I'm just 
pretty happy that that's happening <laughs> because when I would eat things before it, I wouldn't see any remnants of that in my excrements when I went to the bathroom. You guys must be like, why is she always talking about pooping? You know, like, but it's really important. And I also feel like I'm hyper attuned and aware of it because when I was younger, I was really constipated and I didn't go for a whole week. So I'm just like totally in tune with like when I go to the bathroom or how often I go to the bathroom. And especially since I'm eating more food now, after the fast, I'm really paying attention because if I'm not going to the bathroom and excreting anything, that is a problem. And I don't want that to happen because I really want to live a really long time. <laughs> you know, 30 years, I at least want to live for maybe 60, 70 more years, you know? That will bring it to what, like 100, 110, 20, 120? So, we'll see. We'll see. That's, that's the goal. <laughs> might, it might seem long, but the thing is, it's like I want to live a very full and beautiful life and not be sick. Like, I don't want to be sick. I want to be able to do handstands and run around with our kids and, you know, because eventually we do want to have children. Right now, we're cleaning ourselves out. As you can see, Andrew's fasting. I just did a fast. You know, we're really wanting to be in the best shapes of our lives. Well, at least I do. I can't really speak for Andrew. But for me, I want to be in the best shape of my life. And I feel the best I've ever felt in my life. And I'm so blessed and so excited to accomplish what we want to accomplish this year. We have so many things planned and it's just really exciting. Before I used to feel like overwhelmed and anxious when we had these plans and these extravagant things that we wanted to do, but now I'm just like, let's go, we got this. Go on Andrew, let's go, let's do it. So it's really great to feel that way and also the workouts are actually helping me to build confidence within myself in addition to doing the fast. So. Anyway, I'm just really excited and I'm really happy and this has been the best birthday ever and it hasn't been like full of presents or things like that. It's just like time with Andrew is really what I wanted but we are planning to go down to the city in two weeks time to just celebrate with my parents because they're important to me and it is important for them for me to make them feel special because you know without them I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Hmm. Without the love that they had for each other, I wouldn't be here. And so I am really grateful and blessed to be in this world and I want to celebrate them. So I'm really excited for us to go down and I'm definitely going to cook tons of things for them because they really enjoy my cooking and I enjoy cooking for them and it is helpful for them because they're really busy We're living in New York City. They're, my mom works a lot, my dad works a lot, so I want to help them out as best as I can. And one of the things that's helpful for them is to make food because they just don't really have all that much time to do it for themselves. But it has gotten a lot better because we got them an Instapot for Christmas, which they've been using, which is awesome. So proud of them. They're awesome, my parents. So that's kind of the plan. Yeah, and that's, I don't know, there's nothing really more to say except I can't wait to open this durian up. It smells so good. It smells so good. Let's go do it. All right. So we'll, we'll catch you in the kitchen when we open right. up the durian. <laughs> All right, so here's Andrew and here's the durian. He's gonna open it up for me because I find this to be a little hard because it's super spiky. I don't know if you can really like, if it can, you can it, really It's some free acupuncture. It really, see, uh, like, look at that. It's like really spiky and Andrew doesn't mind <laughs> so much his hands being poked. Whereas I'm like, uh, uh, so. So. Let's see, can you find the It's nice babe? and soft. And look at that. Oh, look, I've oh, there you go. It. It's actually gonna open up really nicely. It is gonna open up really nicely. Like, really nicely. So you need to dig my fingers in and just open it right up. Look at this, this is gonna be amazing. Oh my god, I'm so excited right now. This is the best birthday cake ever. This is like literally the best tasting food on earth right here. Like, the best. The best food. There is no be more better <gasps> tasting that. food. That looks really good. Yeah, it's like a good, really good one. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. Oh gosh, look at that. Oh, that 
Smells amazing. So amazing. I'll take my phone out of the way there. Look at that. What a perfect pot. Oh. Oh. Nice. Mm. Nice. Nice. Happy birthday to you. Happy me. birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Melissa. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Happy birthday to me. All right. Oh my gosh. Enjoy, Thanks. Melissa. Thank you, my love. All right. All right, so this is my first durian birthday breakfast. It's about 10 o'clock, just so you know. I'm a little bit hungry, but I'm not like ravished. Mmm. That's pretty good. Much better than the other one I had last time. Mm. So I'm really sad right now because we want to come to this place. But they're closed today. They're just closed. And I tried calling earlier, but no one picked up and I was like, okay. So then we'll just go and see. <gasps> see if. We can go. And, but they're um, closed. Yeah. But you know what we're gonna do? We have to drive through Massachusetts. Maybe we can stop in Northampton. Massachusetts and Massachusetts in there. Yeah. We're fine. Anyway, I'm really we'll sad now. Food. Guess I'll just see my dream. <laughs> I just really wanted to see you. Look like a cute town. Like, look, it looks so cute in there. Like, it looks so cute. But it's closed. So we have to come to Brattleboro again. <laughs> we get to come again. All right. But we'll have to call days in advance and be like, please be open. Yeah, we're gonna we reserve our spot. We're gonna reserve the whole restaurant. Yeah, the that whole way we restaurant. We can bring all of our family and just eat all the wonderful food. All the food. <laughs> all right, and I guess we're gonna walk out the block now. See if we can find some gifts for my family. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Bye. Bye. So this is where we wanted to come. But look at this little sign. Dear people, apologies for any inconvenience. We are closed today. Thank you for your patience. Sad face. So sad. You can't really see because the window is really glary. But look at this. Oh. Oh well. Raw. Look, it's actually it says vegetarian. Vegetarian, local, raw, vegan, yummy, gluten-free, soy-free, organic, and delicious. So sad. Look at those bananas. They're actually ripe bananas. They have ripe bananas. You never see that in restaurants. They always have yellow ones. These are actually ripe. And they have apples. Oh well, we'll have to find somewhere else to go. So we just turned the corner and I was like, let's over here. And there's like a waterfall. That's so cool, right behind the cafe. Oh my gosh, look, there's a little tree. Oh, that's so cute. And look, there's a food co-op. So we're gonna go check it out because food co are awesome. We're walking into the Brattleboro Food Co-op. Let's see. Fruit. Look at this. It's a lot like the farm store. But, but bigger. Yeah. Much. It's very much like the farm store bigger. But they also sell aloe. Look at that. I know. Conventional. But they have conventional. But then they have organic. Some squashes. Oh, that's a cute way to display your squash there. It's like a nice 
wash and scoop your... All right. Oh, my favorite. Delicata. My favorite squash. No, that's that's a kabocha, baby. Kabocha and delicata. Kabocha yeah, and then sorry. delicata. Kabocha is yeah, your yeah, favorite. Yeah. Wine. Look at all this wine. Tristan would love this. Because he wants to sell wine and alcohol at the farm store. Beer. Just kidding. It's nothing we, we have. Whoa. This is really large. Much larger than I thought from the outside. <gasps> chocolate. Look at all that chocolate. Oh, you know what we could do? So what did we get so far, babe? We got some different kinds of vegan chocolate that we found. Check this out. Some hazelnut truffle log, some toffee sparkle log, a maple flake cloud log, and a peanut butter log. Look at that. Hazelnut truffle log made with schmilk. Vegan milk style chocolate. Let's see. Watch out behind you. Yeah. Nice. So we got a few of them for my family. Maybe one could be for your family. We'll see. It's like not focusing on taking. There you are. So anyway, we're just like walking down the aisles. Maybe they have like a, a prepared, oh, they have a prepared section. We can see if they have anything good for us. Yeah. Why not? For you. For, yeah, for me. All right, I'm gonna stop the recording now. All right, so we just bought a whole bunch of things at the cup here. <laughs> Cause it's I forgot, awesome it's really cool, really, really nice. They have a hot bar, they have so many things and just so many options, so it's really exciting. I got a few potatoes actually here. Check this out. So some potatoes and some lettuce and then some sa sauerkraut that we found here is with dill. I don't know if you can see. Can you turn it the other way? The front way? The front way. That's the ingredients. The front. There you go. So we got this brand. I've never seen it before, but it has dill in it. So it's really exciting to try. We're going to give that a try and see how that goes. So pretty good. Not exactly what we were hoping for. to go. To. We were going to go to the cafe, but you know, this, is, this will do for now. And then we got a whole bunch of gifts for my parents, and we already got some gifts for Andrew's family, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's the plan, that's what we're doing right now. So I'm gonna eat some of this, probably not all of it, because I have some food in the car too, but maybe I will eat all of it, we'll see. <laughs> okay, hello. So we just had our food, well I just had some food, Andrew just sat with me, and the cove was really nice, even though we didn't get to go to the cafe that we wanted to go to. It's still really an enjoyable time. And we saw a homeless person on the way here. We got him some apple cider and a bagel, but we can't find him now. So we're like still looking out for him just in case we do see him. Yeah. But he just seemed cold and we were just picked something up really quickly from the co-op. So anyway, we're on our way. We're gonna go home now and get ourselves situated because Andrew has worked Andrew and I both work tomorrow. So we just want to make sure that everything is kind of more what somewhat situated because our car is kind of a mess right now. So anyway, that's the plan. We'll keep you posted for later. I have an idea of what I want to make for supper and stay tuned. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, Hello. we are here at a rest stop. We just had to use the restroom. It is snowing out here. Look Big at this. Big winter storm. Do you see now. this? You can't even like really see the road in front of you so well. But anyway, we're driving in this. We're on our way home. And Andrew's drinking his grape juice. And I just pull out some durian. Durian. <laughs> it's kind of like weird in there, but I'm sure it's going to be delicious. So. It smells really good. I can smell it. it smells it's not really in good. An, an open bag. It does smell really good. It makes the whole smart car smell like durian. It's great. Amazing. Amazing. We love it. We yeah. love the small durian. Some people yeah. will be like, oh, gross. <laughs> anyway, just that you'd like to know what I'm eating because I had the two pieces of durian earlier, the potatoes, a little bit of potatoes, and now I'm eating some more durian. So, that and the green juice. I had the green juice too. So, that's what I'm eating today. Andrew is eating grape juice. Drinking grape juice. You know it. 
eating too. Yeah. You're digesting it. I'll be know. I'll be eating watermelon on March 25th. Andrew's counting the days down. At 7 or 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're I can obviously taste it. Looking, he's, he's obviously looking forward to it. Just I a can little already bit. taste it. It's like yeah. it's a little bit crunchy. It's su super sweet and yeah. it's super juicy. Yep. Just like watermelon. There's anyway, lots and lots of bites of it. Oh, so we'll, well, anyway, we'll keep you posted with the next thing we eat. All right. Oh, it got blurry. Ooh, that's weird. Because <laughs> the focus is. All right, when we got off 90, the roads were really good, but now we're on back roads, country roads, and they are not plowing them. I think school, when school's not in, they wait for the snow to finish falling, and then they plow the roads. So as you can see, the roads are not plowed, which means no school. I think that some of the schools had half days, and some schools didn't even have school at all, so. It is what it is. But luckily we have the snow tires, so we feel secure. And we're almost there, we're like 10 minutes away. Andrew's driving, everything's good. Isn't he a beautiful hair? Like, Andrew's hair is like gorgeous. I love his hair so much. But we're still, we're still working it out though. We're still working it out. This is the first time ever that Andrew has had long hair in his entire life. He's never, ever, ever, ever had long hair. Ever. Anyway. We just arrived at the farm. We are back home officially. It was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful trip going to Vermont. It's so wonderful. I really, really like Brattleboro. I want to go back there again for sure. And also the um, line, island. Island line trail. Island line trail. For some reason, I have trouble getting that one. Island line trail. So I can't wait to go back to Vermont. I'm excited. It was a great trip. So now back to the world, back to our life. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are home. We've been home. I made myself some supper. This is, um, I made like a mashed potatoes. Ooh, I don't know if you, you can't really see it. Hold on. But I didn't put any oil in it or any salt. It just has peppers and onions in it that were also sauteed without any oil or salt. And then I made this bread, like this sauce. It's not, it's like not very pretty looking, but it's basil, cilantro, some dulce, tomatoes, lime juice, and apple cider vinegar. And then here's my meal, pea shoots, tomato. Let me put it in the light so you can see a little bit better. So it's a uh, pea shoots, tomato, sauerkraut, that brown kind of gross looking sauce and then the mashed potatoes and that's it that's all i'm that's that's my meal tonight super simple very easy and super delicious i'm really excited to eat this i cannot wait and yeah that's that's it so i'm excited to eat that all right so that's that's it for the night that's all i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna eat and after that i'm gonna be done for the night and it was such a wonderful day it was the best 30th birthday it was great i had a wonderful time and i am so grateful and thankful to be here on this earth for 30 years so anyway i hope you have a marvelous night a wonderful evening and i'll see you guys tomorrow if you like this video like if you should want to subscribe subscribe press the button below and please comment love to hear from you all right bye bye all righty i just finished my meal and i it was really good However, I'm just like, <laughs> I just want to keep eating and I don't know what that's about. Like, I don't know if it's because I increased my workouts or whatever. So I'm just going to like let everything settle and just kind of breathe. But I just like really enjoyed that and I just want to keep eating the potatoes. And the potatoes are like totally okay and good for you. And I know the guy, he did the spud diet. Um, what's his name? Spud fit or something like that. Where he was like way overweight and he literally ate potatoes. I always forget the music. I always forget the music. Anyway, he literally ate potatoes. 
He literally ate potatoes for 365 days. Just like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's all he ate. And he said he did put some ketchup sometimes on the potatoes or some barbecue sauce. But like he literally just had potatoes or like chili sauce he said too. But like only a little bit to just flavor it up a little. But like that's all he ate, potatoes. So, you know, like I sit here being like, oh, well, I don't want to do any potatoes. I don't want to get fat or blah, blah, blah. You know, like, because that's what people say. People are like, potatoes make you fat. But literally my potatoes is water, onions, and peppers with gold potatoes. And that's literally it. There's nothing else in it. There's no cream. There's no salt. There's no butter. There's none of that stuff. So they're like really good. I mean, like, I did have some sauerkraut with it, which has some salt. So I definitely kind of wish I hadn't put that because I think that I'm craving the salt now. But it's okay. Everything's all good in the hood. I'll figure it out. And I don't know, maybe I'll do a fast tomorrow, but maybe I won't. I'm trying, I'm deciding, but I feel like I did eat quite a bit today. I had, I finished the whole durian. So that, it ended up being seven pods in that durian. So I ate all those pods. And then I had a little bit of those potatoes earlier with the lettuce, which wasn't that much. And then just now I had the pea shoots with potatoes and I had a little bit more potatoes after what I had filmed. And I'm just like, mm, do I want more? Do I not want more? And I didn't do my gen, my dog gen fit workout today, but I did my Shauna Virtue foot workout. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, we'll see how I feel. But tomorrow I'm working and I'm really excited. And yeah. I will see how I feel and how that goes. And yeah, I just thought I should let you know that because that is something that I'm currently struggling with right now a little bit. But I really did enjoy the food that I made. It was so good. It was good. I put dulse on it. And I did put a little bit of nutritional yeast on the potatoes and everything. But I wasn't really feeling the nutritional yeast to be perfectly honest. I was liking the dulse way more. So anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video on my birthday, my 30th birthday. Okay, that was a little bit ridiculous. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow and let you know what the situation is tomorrow.